Hi. So I hope you all join me in the next few minutes and uh, moving from getting just getting through this holiday to uh, making it the best holiday ever. I think we can do this if we move through the frustration, the anger, the guilt, the sadness um, that comes with making the sacrifices to protect ourselves and those we love um, at this time. Um, as always, we'll be doing a little tapping um, after I talk for a couple of minutes about what I think is going on with us and maybe help us understand it a little better. I, um, you know, at this time, over a quarter million Americans have died of COVID-19 that we know of. There may be many, many more. It's a serious and painful for many of us as we face the holidays dealing with the death um, or the severe illness of those that we love. Um, as you know, thought field therapy, therapy can be very helpful. It can be an amazing tool in helping one deal with grief. So if you are one of those individuals needing that help at this point, my heart goes out to you, I'm sorry. And please check out the videos on grief. But for most of us, uh, the struggle we face in acting with prudence uh, to keep ourselves and those we love alive has to do with dealing with the frustration and not a permanent loss. I am very frustrated I, um, that I cannot be with those that I care to be with <coughs> to celebrate this holiday. So many gifts have been given to me and I have given so many gifts that I wish that I could be celebrating those as I have in the past, but that's just not going to be possible this year um, to keep people safe, the people I love safe. And it's, it's a tough call because we want it now, but in order to have it next year and the year after and the year after and the year after with those people we love, we have to make this sacrifice at this time. So, you know, as we think about those very sad conversations we're having to have about changing our traditions and our plans and the holidays, many feelings will arise. Now, this is all normal to have these kind of feelings, um, and it's to be expected we will. The problem arises when these feelings become so strong that they interfere with our ability to think um, and to act with reason and to appreciate the sacrifice that we're making this year. So we, we may have those we love in our lives next year and the next year and the next year. So as we do what we need to do to get through this holiday, let's connect with the joy of knowing this frustration, this difficulty is grounded in the fact that we have love in our lives. And that feels good. It feels really good to me. And uh, it's a very powerful emotion for me, but now what I wanna tap away, cause this is the good stuff, to be able to be in contact with um, that sense of connectedness. And so having so many wonderful people in my life and I hope in your life. It's a really good thing. So if you're happy, but if you're having trouble getting to the good stuff because you're just so um, upset and there's too much bad stuff, um, you know what? Uh, that's understandable because it's going to not only bring up the frustration and the sadness and the anger and the guilt of this current moment, it's also going to trigger us back to other events, you know, family of origin kind of holiday stuff. Um, but even with that, it's still difficult. Um, so if you're feeling those feelings right now, um, I would ask you to notice as you think about your holiday plans, what you're feeling and rate it the upset, the negative part of it, not the good stuff, but the upset stuff on a zero to 10 scale. And um, zero being no upset, 10 being the, the worst you can um, uh, imagine. Now, as you, uh, so now let's do a little tapping here. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to use the crisis intervention tapping pattern because embedded in it is tapping for um, anxiety, for fear, 
for um, guilt, um, for um, just uh, past experiences. So we're going to do that. So right now, as you think about your holiday plans, you rate the upset 0 to 10. Now tap on the side of your hand. And then tap under your nose, on your chin. And I'm going to have you do middle finger. Now this is a little different, outside of eye and under collarbone. Now that was just, the, those were corrections for reversal. Usually we just do side of hand and under nose. But this is a big deal because it's embedded uh, very much in our family of origin stuff. So I wanted to correct all of that. And now we're going to tap the beginning of the eyebrow for trauma of past stuff, under the eye for anxiety and under the arm, under the collarbone for that fear um, that we may have of not having this again. And then index finger, which is the um, algorithm for guilt, is index finger under collarbone. And then little finger under collarbone for anger. Now we're going to do the nine gamut series. So close your eyes, open your eyes, look down left, look down right, whirl your eyes in one direction, whirl your eyes in the other direction, Hum, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. count, one, two, three, hum again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, um, if you can, uh, we're going to go back here, tap the beginning of the eyebrow, under the eye, under the arm, under the collarbone, index finger, under the collarbone, tiny finger, under the collarbone. Now stop, think about your holiday plans. Go back, notice what you're feeling in your body um, and uh, focus on wherever you noticed that negative emotion before and then rate it again on zero to 10. Now, if it went down, but it's not at a zero, well, go through the tapping again, see if it'll get you there. Now, if it didn't, uh, if it didn't go down at all, um, or jumped up, it just means that you need more tapping. And you might need to do collarbone breathing and then repeat the tapping again and see how you uh, change. The idea here is we want to get to the joy of this holiday um, and the connection with those we love and to um, bring down uh, the frustration, the guilt, the anger. Now, we're not going to get rid of all of it because those are normal kinds of experiences, but we want to keep them to a point where we can think clearly um, and we can make choices that are safe for ourselves and those we love. Now, um, if uh, you like this, uh, please uh, pass it along. Share it with those who um, may have need for this. Um, and also, before I leave, I just want to say um, I owe you uh, a big thank you to those people who completed the survey that I sent out um, so that we can get some more information about the uh, webinar coming in January, Break Free to Joy. And uh, I'll be sending out more information uh, about that on my next blog, and uh, we'll do more of that. Next week, I'm going to take off Friday. It's the Friday after Thanksgiving. And, um, but I will be back. And as always, if you have questions, if you have comments, uh, any concerns come up for you, please uh, let me know. Um, and then I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, or email me, rlbray at rlbray.com. Um, and check out my website. So anyway, um, for all of you um, who I will not be seeing or talking to, um, probably talking to is more reasonable for what's going on with me, um, uh, I wish you a, a, a great, um, happy Thanksgiving, and I hope you can feel all of the joy and love and gifts in your life. Bye-bye.